I interrupt your C programming with an important announcement. This is not the C programming language logo. This is the C language logo. This hexagon logo is actually the official C++ logo, except someone tried to make it into C by getting rid of the pluses. Presumably, they didn't get permission from the standard C++ foundation which controls the logo. Or do they? In 2017, the foundation released the logo into the public domain. Either they realized their mistake or changed their minds, because they issued a correction a few months later. I'm not a lawyer, but I wonder about trademark concerns. Maybe it is legal to repurpose the logo for C if you start from that old GitHub commit. But why would you want to? Using this logo implies that C is derived from C++ when it's the other way around. Also, we know C is not a subset of C++. For example, this simple C code is not valid in C++, which doesn't allow implicit casts of void pointers. An explicit cast is required. But C style casts are frowned on. You need to use the C++ method. You see, C++ programmers like to reduce confusion by having multiple different types of casts. With all that casting and templates, I'm surprised there aren't angle brackets in the logo, actually. Let's fix that. Luckily, they made the pluses so small so that the logo would be extensible. There's still room for more features. What else could we fit in there? How about the scope resolution operator? That's a C++ favorite. I think we can all agree this is a much more readable and idiomatic C++ logo. But I wonder, can it be optimized for better performance? Yes. In fact, it's faster to use prefix operators to avoid making copies of objects. So let's move that plus plus to the front. There. This is a big improvement. I think it really captures the simplicity and speed of C++. But I digress. This is a video about the C logo. Did you know that the C programming language now has an official website? There we can find an explanation of the C logo. It's just the letter C in Helvetica, which of course derives from the timeless cover of the K&R book. So this is the logo, no hexagons or anything. That is all.